Okay, so welcome to this Monday series first video. In this video, we'll learn how we can connect Monday to a Google Sheet and that to an intellectual connection. So let's say whenever any new item is get added to a Monday board or any item get updated, then we should automatically add or update the item in a Google Sheet. So let's learn how this can be done. So for this purpose, I created a Monday board and that Monday board name is Lead Management. And here we are putting the lead information. So it has like different columns. So lead name, the person assigned, status, inquiry date, email, phone number, message country, and the product interested. Now, similar to this, we have also created a Google Sheet, Monday Leads. And here we see uh, almost same items. So same column name, lead name, inquiry, email, phone number, country, product interested, status, and lead owner. Now, uh, what we want to do is, uh, whenever there is a new item added to the Monday board, that should automatically be added to the Google Sheet as well. And that too, if that item already exists in Google Sheet, and if there is just a simple update on Monday, that item should be updated on Google Sheet raw, not to create a new line. So we'll create a basic simple uh, automation. So let's go to create a scenario. First, we'll have to add the Monday because Monday is the trigger point whenever uh, there will be a new line, a new item added or new any item get updated, we'll see the Monday for all the changes. So you can click on Monday module. And now here, uh, there are different actions and triggers available. So here you can see uh, different actions are there as well as something called acid or instant. So these are the triggers which happen when any event occurs on Monday board or on Monday uh, platform. So we are not uh, looking for column value as such, but what we are looking for is board. Perfect. So under items, we can see watch board items. That's a trigger. So it says trigger when an item is created or updated in the given board. So let's say I'll select this one. Now I already established my connection in the last video. So I'll, okay. Here you can define how many uh, results you want to process in each run. So let's say we say 100 results or maybe 10 or 15 or whatever. So this is like something, if you're running this scenario quite frequently, let's say every 15 minutes or every hour or every day, it will accumulate all the changes and it will process them whenever the next execution happen. So currently we are saying, let's process maximum 100 records at a time. Let's select the board. So we'll go to this board ID and let, you can do both. You can either map board from the drop down list or, okay, let me, let me make connection. Let me just see the connection which I established recently. Okay, perfect. So here I have something from drop down also. So lead management is my board. I can simply select it from here or in case if you don't find or if you are facing any other difficulty, you can map also. So you can just map the board ID and board ID will get from your Monday board. Now I selected my board here. Uh, this is just watch new items or add or update items. So I'll say empty. So I want to do both. Right, no specific column value. I want to get all the values available in the columns and simply okay. Now, this is also asking from now onwards so when from where I want to start this uh, process. So, from now onwards, from a specific date, all or maybe even choose manually. So, I'll say from now onwards. Now, after this, I have to add Google Sheet. So, in Google Sheet. Uh, there are all these modules, <clears throat> all these actions available. So add, draw, update, draw, clear, delete, and so on. Now here uh, we have to first search for the item, whether it already exists in the Google Sheet or not. So let's go for a search and it says search raw return results matching to a given criteria. So I'll put search. Here again, I established my connection to Google Sheet. Uh, there is a help document also available, so you can just follow it or you click on add new connection and you'll be able to establish a new connection. Same way how we did for Monday. Now here you can choose the spreadsheet. So once you establish connection, you will get to see all the spreadsheet in your account will be listed here. So I choose Monday leads. Now on sheet, I will choose sheet one. Yes, my uh, table contains headers, column range, filter. So what I want to filter is, let's say from Monday, I'll have a unique value called email ID. Uh, that's what I think. So let's say, for example, I say uh, match the uh, or search for the email ID for from this item and return the result from Google Sheet. Now, along with this, uh, yeah, so that's done. Let me quickly see. 
so currently i'm not getting uh, okay just a second let me run this module once so i'll get uh, so you can simply choose all run it and run this module only so we'll get to see uh, there is one item available in monday board and here all the column values are available so person uh, lead owner everything right now i'll be able to map it so i simply go here i'll say email id email id is equal to okay forgive me sorry so yeah now here we see email id is equal to this email and uh, order by maximum rows done so i'm not mentioning anything that's fine now after this so once the search will happen then it will do two things either add a new row if a row is not uh, item is not already exist or it will go for a update a row if item already exist so what we we'll have to do is we'll have to add a router here so let's simply add a router router is something to define multiple path from a process from a flow so there will be two path one is something called google sheet add a row and second is so will okay perfect so here we again select our monday sheet monday reads uh the sheet name table contains header yes and here i can map all the field which are coming from monday so lead name first of all so lead name means uh, we'll have to add this So this is my item name. Inquiry date. So I have a date field available here. So this is date. Then there's the email. So email field I can simply map here. You can uh, like put a proper name of these columns. So for easy mapping, like whatever mentioned in your Monday board will be appearing here. Phone number. I can simply map a phone number here. Country. I'll map the country here. message so here is the message track and finally product interested so we can also map the uh, product interested from this drop down so drop down text status of this lead so status also we can map here status text and lead owner who is the person who own this lead so we can also take his name as value or text let's say let's take it as text right uh we'll leave all the other column blank so whatever mappable values are there right fine click okay now second is update row so update row is similar way we'll have to uh, put the update we can simply choose which sheet to update now there will be a question in your mind like how we are deciding whether to update or add a new row so i'll just come on that point in a minute here also we can choose same way okay i'll just stop it here for now okay so whenever we'll run this module this particular google sheet search row will give us a result whether there is a row already available matching that uh, item or not so in that case if there is a search result available we'll say go to update and if there is no search result available we'll add a new row so let's run the scenario for up till here i'll just unlink this let's run it I'll go for all. Perfect. So here the total number of bundle is zero, right? So I can now put this as a condition through this router. I'll say total number of bundle is equal to a numeric uh, comparison zero. Then go to this root. Else go to this root. So again, I can see yes. not equal to zero so there can be more ways right uh, so let's say for example there can be other way to put filter right um uh, random or filter let's say for example if row number exist or does not exist so if uh, the, this model will run something then the row number will exist if it doesn't return anything then row number will not exist like it is searching for existing rows 
so we can even compare this right so does not exist then go to this root and exist then go to this root so let's say we can simply create something raw number exists so that's how also we can follow this roots now let's quickly complete this so here uh, on update a raw we'll we'll need to select this google sheet let's quickly go and select then sheet name so sheet one is there raw number that is very important so which raw we want to update in case if it already exists so when we search a raw for google sheet it will also done something called raw number so we'll be referring to this particular raw and again we can put or map all the information available from monday so the lead name is name available here inquiry date uh, in case if you want to update a very little or few columns that's fine if you want to update everything again and that's also okay it will consume only one single operation so you don't have to worry about uh, consuming more and more operations right. okay just a second so here is my date i simply choose date email id will pick email so anything gets changes will automatically be updated over here phone number and this is yet <clears throat> and this entire thing is just have to once message so yes message product interested in case if you select everything you fill all then it will keep on overwriting and uh, the latest i latest info available on monday will be populating then we'll say status so status it is available over here lead owner so lead owner is available here thanks that's it that's okay now perfect now let's run the scenario for a time being let's say i'll go choose all i already have one record in monday so you can see here with the name of manish and this google sheet is completely blank so let me quickly run this see so since google sheet was blank it took it to here i'll just try to format it yes. perfect now you can just format dates over here and other things in the column value itself but yeah this is how it can be uh, populated now i just turn on the scenario and as i said this can be a uh, this will be working around like whenever there is a update or the new addition happen in monday board so automatically the scenario will run because we used a trigger and it's a time based schedule based trigger so here we define like in every 15 minutes this should run uh, here you can go up to 1 minute a uh, lowest part and you can even schedule it in a more advanced way so should it run just once or every day or every week or specific days of the month right and you can simply turn it on as just a second You may be interested in Monday automation. 
Now we added one more item over here. Right? Now, whenever the scenario will run next time from Monday, this will automatically execute and it will uh, update the Google Sheet. So here we see we updated. Okay. So now it will run after 15 minutes. But for just for the video purpose, I'll just run it once again. Click on run and see here it went to a new line. So Monday saw this item, didn't found again. So it automatically added Mohammed Ali Jahar. Right. And the honor is M square. So that's how you can uh, quickly sync the entire data. Now let's say, let me change uh, the lead status to, this lead status to not qualified. Let's wait for a few seconds and let's run it again. Let me specify watch new and updated items. Let's see. Okay, so you can see here there were two updates happened and uh, both updates went to uh, this. So what we updated is this was M square not qualified and this is qualified. So that's how you can intellectually connect uh, the Monday and Google sheet across uh, the with the logical filters. Right. So. If you want to implement the solution for your clients or for your own organization, uh, do contact us. We are make and Monday experts. So we do no code automation day in day out and we can help you to implement such scenarios or such kind of automations. Right. Uh, now in next video, I'll, I'm going to cover the opposite of this. So in case if you have any Google sheet available and you want to connect it to Monday, that can also be there. So let's say for example, you're taking inputs in form of uh, from the Google form, let's say, or any of your uh, shared spreadsheet and you want to update those items into Monday, then that is also possible. So we'll just see a uh, other way around of Google sheet to Monday. Uh, in case if you want to build any other scenario of your, uh, of your, uh, let's say requirement, do comment below this video and uh, we will surely showcase you a dedicated video, like presenting your scenario, how that automation can be achieved. So thank you very much for watching this. Keep watching the series uh, to learn more about Monday Automation. Thank you.